So you guys like that Greg Maddox two-seam video that I made for you? We're going to make another one. Sal Gallo, he wants to see Mariano Rivera's cutter and Pedro's changeup. Today we're going to talk about Mariano's cutter because that was a nasty pitch. Probably the best closer in the game ever. I'm sure Trevor Hoffman will disagree. But let's talk about his cutter, how he grips it, how he's trying to throw it, what he's trying to do with it, and why he's so successful. Let's go. First things first, let's talk about his grip. Now, he would grip it with a four-seam grip, but it would be kind of cocked off a little bit to the side. So I'm going to show you from this angle first. He would come across the seams. His middle finger, obviously he's a right-handed pitcher, his middle finger would be close to the lace here. So instead of being straight, like a straight four-seam right here, he would be cocked this way a little bit, okay? And he kind of grip that top lace right there with that finger. Now, thumb placement, I think, for him is key, okay? Because... He wasn't right straight underneath here. He kind of tucked it under just a little bit more this way, okay? So he's got a lot more ball coming out the other side of the ball here. And I think that's how he really got that cut on that ball when he let it go here. So you can see I'm a little bit cocked onto the side just a little bit. He doesn't throw like a force cutter. That's why it's so effective because hitters can't see it coming. They think it's a fastball. That's why he's hugely successful with his cutter. It's got backspin and it's got that natural cut coming across. It's not a force slider type cut where you see the spin of the ball. Again, a tough, tough pitch to hit. And obviously he was the master at it. That's why batters couldn't touch him. The other reason he was so successful with this pitch is because he had a very consistent delivery. His delivery was the same almost always. So no matter what pitch was coming, fastball, cutter, whatever he was throwing, the batter had no idea. And he was consistent in the strike zone because his delivery was consistent. When you're consistent with your delivery and your release point, you're going to be a lot more consistent in the zone. Mariano Rivera was also very good at pitching to the corners of the plate. He never really threw this ball in the middle. He would start it a lot of the times in the middle and it would cut across into lefties, into righties, out to righties, out to lefties. Imagine trying to hit this pitch that you see starting in one spot and then finishing in another. It was a very, very nasty pitch. My favorite was him throwing it into lefties. It made them look stupid. It broke many, many bats. It was just a nasty, nasty pitch. Now, the New York Times made a really cool video that I want you guys to go watch after this one because it talks about how he was so successful with this pitch, and it shows an animation of all his pitches for the year coming out of one release point. It's a really cool video, so I'm going to leave that link down below or Carter's going to pop up, but go watch that one now because if you want to learn how to throw the Mariano Rivera cutter, that's the video that you got to watch after this one because there's some really good information in that one as well. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. I'm at like 114,000 subscribers now. I appreciate all your help. But if you want to see something else, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see and I'll make a video about it. Thanks, guys.